on my way to work. This is Monday morning for me. We're supposed to have some storms today. Right now it's 58 degrees and I'm a little warm myself. Put that air conditioning down to 65. So my face is doing a lot better today. Now I still can you know, it still feels warm and, you know, I can tell that it's getting ready to peel, you know, or come to a, you know, which is what we want to happen. That's what we want to happen. And just so y'all know, I mean, I've had this before. Now, the first time that I ever had it, it was really, really bad. I mean, I couldn't, I mean, I wanted to do this. And... I mean, you talk about feeling like I was on fire. I felt like I was on fire. Now this time it's not near as bad. Of course, this time I know better, but it's still there. And I'm wondering if me being outside more has kind of done it. I have on sunscreen, but I don't think that I got sun. I just think that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I want it to peel. I want it to go. I mean, I know right now my skin looks extremely dry. I do have on quite a bit of moisturizers and stuff to make it look more glowy so it don't look so dry. And what that happens with me is that actually brings the wrinkles to the forefront, you know, but whatever. I'm not afraid of wrinkles. wrinkles don't bother me as bad as sagging skin bothers me but there's nothing I can do about that either it's just I have to learn to live with it anyway we'll move on you don't want to hear all this mess anyway I hope that my friends that were in the path of the storms this weekend are okay um, I mean I don't want to shout out where you live or anything like that but I know that you may have had some storms in your areas so I hope you're okay really do. I hope you're okay. I haven't, you know, this weekend I was, I didn't really feel great, to be honest. And, you know, I know that video yesterday or Sunday, whenever it was horrible, because I just really felt bad, but I felt obligated to do it. And I will do it again when I feel better. I'll just have to do it one day when I feel like it. <laughs> Today does start the City Beauty Lips sale or City Lips sale, buy one, get one. And all that will be linked below. Of course, as I tell y'all all the time, I'm just sharing information. I'm not a salesperson. I love City Lips, I love City Beauty. And if you want to take advantage of the sale, then by all means do it. Uh, there will be another uh, sale that includes the entire website later on in the month. I will go ahead and tell you that. So, you know, if you're short of money right now and can't do it, then that's okay. I mean, we all have, I feel like we all have budgets we have to stick to. So, I, I did see where Makeup Geek is closing. I'll talk a little bit about that before I go in. You know, I have a couple of products, Makeup Geek, from boxes. I might have bought something sometime when she was at Target. Honestly, I never got into the brand. She did something early on on my channel, well, when I first started my channel, that really upset me, and I'm not going to get into it, but I lost a lot of respect for her at that time. And it's not that I want anybody's businesses to fail. I don't. But let's just say I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I think she didn't have her heart into it anymore. I know she's not well physically. But I just, you know, you can hire good people to help you. The way I look at it. And I just don't think she was into it anymore. Um, she constantly was talking about 
you know, she would go film in a studio and that was not the way she started. You know, she started sitting down at her desk or in her living room, whatever. I mean, why do we have to always go to this studio theatrical lighting stuff once you get big? Why can't you just remain what you were to start with, what got you where you were? So, I don't know. I mean, I wish her all the best, but am I shocked? No, I'm surprised it did not happen before now. Really, I'm shocked that it hadn't happened before now. Because you can tell when a brand owner is not into it anymore. You can just start sensing it, or I can. So, with that said, I'm wearing the Calorie mascara today. I got it out because I thought, well, it had enough time to dry out. I do like that mascara. Now, of course, this is Wendy that helped find, found, find Urban Decay. She's now gone. I guess she's, I don't know if she's still at Urban Decay or if she's just went out and started this new brand. I've heard great things about the tinted moisturizer or whatever it is. Hadn't bought it. And I'll tell you why I didn't buy it. You know, I'm over these sexual and in do and in ooh, I can't talk today. Names. I am not approved by any means. And I I mean, probably if you would have known me twenty five years ago, you'd thought I was the nastiest person on earth as far as the way I talked. I didn't cuss, but I, you know, I just turned everything into a dirty joke. But I'm older and wiser now. And I realize there comes a time when you need to Stop it. And I mean, I get NARS. I don't, NARS is using, well, they used to, I don't know now, but they used to use a lot of the Prince songs names and I kind of got that. And, but now it's just, it's like Too Faced and now this one and Jeffrey, although I kind of get why Jeffrey does it because that's just the way he is. But that's the very reason I've not bought his mascara because of the name of it. I mean, I hate to say that. And if it sounds like I'm, I'm prude, I'm a prude then. I just don't want to, I can't, I don't feel right sitting, telling you that you need to buy this mascara. You know what it's called? I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you have seen it. And I just don't feel right doing that because I like to think that some of you grandparents parents are sitting there watching my videos with your children so if I ever do talk about it I'm, I mean I'm not gonna say I won't ever buy it or it won't get become it won't come in a mystery box and I talk about it but I'll tell you get your children out of the room get your grandchildren out of the room uh, I don't know I just don't feel right doing it and like I say I guess I have become I've not become quite my mom because my mom's a little bit more <laughs> She can't stand it when I say some stuff. So anyway, this has become a rant video, hasn't it? A rant video. All right, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna go in with my red face. I didn't wash my hair because I just didn't feel like it. I think it looks pretty good for five days. I just don't, you know, I. I know some people wash their hair every day and I guess if I was at home more, I would wash my hair probably every other day. But I think my hair does much better when I only wash it twice a week. And I think every now and then I you should go longer if you can. And that's what I'm trying to do this week. I'm trying to go, I won't quite make it a week, but I'll make it close. A week, seven days, not five days. But I won't make it that far. I know it won't. Tonight, it'll probably get to where it's itching. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to close. Quit being a... I don't know what I'm being today. Anyway, talk to y'all later. This does make my teeth look whiter, don't it? <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye.